Hey, how's it going? Train is here. Today with some Diablo. Yeah, yeah. Made this one last season. It is a Barbarian. Far of the Waste set. Hellfire Amulet. Mordic Brace. As Bracers. I have Ring of Royal Grandeur. I have Band of Might on the other. Since I am using Crown Storm quite a lot. I got a lot of reduced damage. Captain Crimson set. I only have two set items as you can see. But since I wear the Ring of Royal Grandeur. I get a third set bonus too. It is a nice one to have. You get damage dealt is increased. And your damage taken is reduced. Then I have the boot. Sabaton of the waste. My weapons. I have the bull cattle set. Mainly for the movement speed and the fury generation. I also have the bull cattle's warrior's blood. Both are ancient. So. Then we have Kanai's cube. I have Ambo Sprite in this one. Since I'm using Ruined. I have limitation in this one. More stacks. Obsidian ring of the zodiac. I have this one. I will always do whirlwind. So my skills will of cooldown faster. Talking about skills. Let's continue the skills. I have berserker rage. Because I'm always uh, at full uh, fury. I have nerves of steel. Just to be extra safe. Superstition. More defense. And I have rampage. I will be killing a lot of enemies, so my strength will be 25% higher. I have Ruined, since I have all the buffs with Ruined. Then we have Crown Stomp, works good with the Band of Might, the ring we have. We have Warcry, just for the extra defense. We have Rent, just so we can uh, select the rune. We're not casting this one much, since Ruined applies it. Battle Rage, for the extra crit and movement speed. And then we have Frau of the Berserker, of course. About the runes I have, Gogok of Swiftness. So I get more dodge, more attack speed, and also cooldown reduction. That will help my Frau of the Berserker cooldown. Then I have Bane of the Stricken. So this one is mainly good when you are reaching higher levels. Last one we have Taiguk. Increases armor, increases damage, and can stack up to 10 times. Also we got pretty good rolls on them. Critical hit damage here, critical hit damage here. So yeah. If we go look at the offense stats I would like to um, recommend are the critical hit chance and the critical hit damage. You can reach this by adding a green rune for example to your weapon. So this will increase the critical hit damage by a lot. And since I am wearing two weapons I can also put one into this one. The critical hit chance can be reached by your rings, amulet, gloves and helm. Also keep in mind. You can only have a maximum of 25% movement speed from items and paragon points. So always check movement your boots are and make that 25, so 14. Now we can add 14. Let's see if we have that in the paragons. Yeah, you can see we have 14 here. The rest I've put in strength. By offense almost all full. Defense the same. And utility also the same. So I would recommend first doing movement speed here and then go to strength. You can you can change this one up. Uh, here I would always pick the resist all. Then maybe the armor or life and last the life generation. And here I would start with life per hit. Then area damage, then resource cost reduction and last the gold pickup radius. Last the Templar. He has a lot of items that emanates. So the, these will also work for me. Shrine effects last for 10 minutes for example. Also this pylon effects last twice as long. Shrines and pylons will spawn an enemy champion. Taking fire damage restores your primary. Whenever a gem drops a gem also drops. And then I believe, yeah we have this one. Double amount of death breaths. And of course your follower cannot die. So yeah, that was a quick overview of my barbarian in Diablo. Let me know what you think and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.